Exporting G-Code in Vectric. This process will work for all Vectric software. If you haven't watched our first video in this series, installing and configuring Vectric for the Onefinity CNC, we advise you do that. Here we're setting up a simple square for demonstration purposes. Once we've created this simple vector, we can apply and we can center it on our workpiece. Next, we're going to set up our toolpath. For ours, we're just going to set up a simple profile toolpath for demonstration purposes. Here's where you will enter your cut depth, pass per depth, bit, etc. For the purposes of this video, we're going to go ahead, calculate our toolpath, and show you the preview. Once we've confirmed via the preview, we will select the vectors we want to export. At the bottom right of the toolpath section, we see a floppy disk icon. We're going to choose selected toolpath. We're going to choose our machine model. So journeyman X50, woodworker X50, X35, etc. We can then choose our post processor and select save toolpath. We see here in this folder, we have both the G code and the design file for this particular file. And to explain that in a little more detail here, we see a file save produces the CRV file. This is the design file that the controller cannot read. By exporting using the floppy disk icon, we can produce NC, NGC, or G code files, all three of which the controller can read. The last thing we'll do is we will copy our G code over to a USB stick, or we will upload it to our OneFinity controller via network transfer. 